I'm at the Brazos Valley Ballpark right now. And I'm with designated hitter for the, the Bombers, Gary Blair. You may also know him. He also coaches that women's basketball team in town. How are you doing, Gary? Well, I'm doing good, but uh, I think I ended my college career striking out, and I think I might have ended my pro career here striking out, but hey, I didn't leave the bat on the shoulder. I swung at the last one, and it's about 90 miles an hour, but uh, I love the feeling, the moment right there, being out there with those kids out there and living the dream, and hey, Yuri's done a great job out here. This guy is a marketer. And he understands uh, minor league baseball and college baseball. We got a great crowd here tonight. There's probably close 3,000 people here tonight. So I'm happy for this, but the most thing I'm happy is uh, we're winning. That's the most important thing. Yeah, I believe it would be their fifth straight. If, now, tell me, from my angle, I couldn't tell. Was that second strike? It looked like it was the third ball to me. Well, the first pitch, I made up my mind I was not going to swing on the first pitch. It was about 90 miles an hour close to my chin. The question would have been if it had been six inches closer, could I have gotten out of the way? Probably not, folks. He might have, the girls' basketball coach at AM might have been down for the count. But I survived. The next pitch I tried to drag bunt, I foul tipped it. That's better than I did last time. The next pitch I thought was a little low, but it wasn't. The next one was low, and then the next one was right down the middle on a 3-2 count. I had visions of walking, not getting a hit, but I had visions. But, hey, that's a moment you live. This is all I did as a kid at their age. I ran out of ability. These kids have ability. These, who knows, these, one of these kids might be in the high minors or major league ball in years to come. And it's just a thrill to be out there with them. Uh, Brent does a great job of being positive with this team. And the one thing he told me, he said, hey, I'm only gonna take kids, good kids. Hey, there's deep fly ball, deep fly ball. Catch it, got a tag, we're coming in, got another run. Make it seven to nothing now. But great game right here, great ballpark. I want to challenge Chip to come out and be designated hitter, okay? I have a feeling Krista can hit better than Chip. So Chip, you're on call now. I want to see you come out and try to do it. So I was going to ask you about your last bat, you know, at Texas Tech, but you already said you thought it might have been a strikeout. Was that the last time that you were at bat was in college? In college, but I played semi-pro ball in Dallas two years after that. I was only there my freshman year playing ball, but my grades were not good enough. And so basically what I was doing my freshman year was playing in the exhibition games and everything because I was an architect major back then, and I was not doing too good right then in architecture. So sometimes you got to fail before you can succeed in life, and that's what happened. And I actually flunked out of school after my freshman year, flunking a five-hour architecture course. But I went back to Dallas, got it together, came back, and had a pretty good career just playing intramural ball and having a great time and got into coaching. And here I am uh, about 45 years later still striking out. <laughs> So I, I, know, I didn't get a bobblehead because whenever I got here, they had all been taken up. But did you get to see it? And how was that seeing, a, if you did, seeing yourself as a bobblehead? The bobblehead did not get here because they got held up in the port. So they will be here next week. So the, they gave vouchers to the first 200, 250 people. So I haven't seen it yet. But uh, if you notice when I... When I struck out, I gave the catcher a little card. I said, go give this to the pitcher. And it said on the card, congratulations, you just struck out a 65-year-old. <laughs> All right. Well, um, keeping it on topic of baseball, I've been seeing you on uh, a lot of the broadcasts for the Rangers. And I want to talk about the latest one before I do. I want to say, ask you, how long have you been a fan of the Rangers? Probably as long as Chip, the, the 70s? 
way before that. Dallas Eagles was the minor league team. They used to play at Burnett Field right over the Trinity River. In my sixth or seventh grade, I was the alternate bat boy for the Dallas Eagles. But the sucker who was the bat boy never got sick, so I never got to go out on the field. But my granddad was the only one in my family that was a baseball person, and he used to take me to ball games, and I've been playing ever since I was six years old. And it's just the best sport in the world. I coach basketball, I love it. But uh, I'm a Ranger fan. I'll be driving to Dallas tonight. I'll have the radio station on listening to the Rangers. Last fall was pretty exciting, but how do you feel about the team this year? I like, I like the team. I like the makeup. A lot of it's going to be the leadership that we're going to have to have to replace Sidney Colson and Danielle and Marion Baker. Those are three kids that were sort of the face of our program, and they did a heck of a job for us. Now, can we get our incoming kid, Kelsey Bone, who has all that in front of her? I think she can do it for us. And can Sidney Carter have the year that we expect for her as a senior and Tyra White? That's going to be the key is right those two, three kids there. Speaking of last year's team, y'all got nominated for an SB. I'm sure most people know. Uh, are there any updates on the voting, or will you not know until that night? We'll not know to that night. Now, how would you like to be going against the Dallas Mavericks, the San Francisco Giants, the Green Bay Packers, and the Boston Bruins, and Auburn's football team in Cam Newton? Now, come on, folks. Find a computer and vote. This would be great for women's, uh, women's ball. And uh, I think this would be, I think people need to get out behind us. And I think this would really be good if a women's team could beat all those nationally known men's teams. So please vote for us. Yeah, ESPN.com slash ESPYs. Will the whole team get to travel to the award show? No, I'll take uh, Carter, Adora Lanu, and Tyra White with me and my three starters and they want Danielle and Sydney to come but probably their schedule is not going to work out. They played each other tonight in New York and uh, Sydney's team won but July the 8th they're going to play in San Antonio so I encourage all the Aggie fans to go down and watch that ball game. Yeah that's what Carla, Carla told me that the whole team, uh, the whole current team was going to get to go. To the ESPYs? Oh, no, no, to the Yeah, <laughs> yeah the San Antonio, they're all going to get to go, but I'll be on the road recruiting that day. That's during our recruiting window. So I'm going to miss that. So what, what I hope that both of them have a good game and goes into overtime and both of them scores 20. Anyway, I just appreciate the time. One more time, ESPN.com slash ESPYs, vote a and uh, and Chip. <laughs> The gauntlet has been thrown down. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Good luck, Chip. Good luck.